Okay. Here we go. I just watched uh, Johnny V open two boxes on Smashbox. He called me out because I had four, like made the comment that I had four Evelinas in her uh, consecutive packs. And then uh, he decided to open his second box too. And he got up a gold pack and I opened six boxes and didn't get a gold pack yet. So hope to bring my odds back to, or my, uh, not bring my odds back, bring my collection back to what the odds are. And that's one in every four. So in theory, I should get two out of the next two boxes of the gold packs. So, oh, I see gold. Boom. I said I will open the first one for sure. Can't leave y'all hanging. Let's set that one to the side. And we'll start with the base packs. This is uh, Golden Era box number seven, pack number one. I'm starting to assemble everything and use my checklist to make sure I know what I've got, what I have duplicates of. So I'm starting to compile some trade bait. So please uh, stay tuned for that. I'll probably do a. a either a video or a collage of photos of all the cards I have that are extras and then put a list on there to make it easy. Um, but I probably won't necessarily make trades. I'll, I'll, I'd sell just about any duplicate I have right away, but I won't make trades until I know what I need. Um, and that might take me a little while because I've got a lot of boxes and I've got more on the way. So um, first card, Classics, Anthony Barella, 23 out of 25. That's Classics Gold. Red Parallel, Thomas Gilbert, out of 75. Timeless, 10 out of 50. KJ, Kevin Jones, I think I already have that one, so I got one auto to trade. Golden Era, Terry Miller, Brian Earhart, and Zoe Andyke, Iconics, that's out of 100, 21 out of 100. And then a base, Holland Handley. All right, set that to the side. I already sleeved all the cards from the first few boxes and realized I'm out of sleeves, so I gotta go get more. Pack two, box seven. Natalie Ryan, classics, 48 out of 100. Jennifer Allen Blue, out of 50. Matty O, 21 out of 25, Iconics. Auto. Ezra Aderhold, Golden Era, Iconics, 76 out of 100. And then Historics, Zoe Andyke. Let's read her. Another error, uh, printing error, not really an error card per se. I would call it a misprint, I wouldn't call it an error. Uh, Zoe Andyke founded Universal Play Disc Golf, you play. A uh, nonprofit that promotes healthy lifestyles through disc golf to youth of all ages. And that is card number three out of a hundred. So the, the extra stamp on the side here, they must have maybe thought they were doing uh twenty out of doing them out of twenty five and they only did them out of one hundred. Or the gold historics I think were out of ten. Um yeah. No, yeah, that's that's right, because it's ten times the, the ratio per pack. So that was pack number two. Pack number three. Oh, I do apologize for anyone. Um, it's really hard with some cards being horizontal and some being vertical. Um, with me doing two recordings here, it's the only way I can literally do the two recordings is to have them set up sideways um so when i record for youtube i can actually switch them or i can switch the orientation um but for facebook i think i cannot so it's showing sideways i would imagine but it's too hard to remember which way to go and how many how many cards are sideways how many are lengthwise um 
so I apologize for that if it's tough to read, but I just wanted to do live just to give people a chance to watch more opening. So we got a classics, 55 out of 100, Scott Stokely. Red Parallel, Kevin Jones out of 75. Another Relics. I'm getting a lot of other Relics, seems. Nice two-color little part of the end of the logo, David Feldberg. And that is 14 out of 25. Iconics, Brian Earhart out of 100. 29 out of 100. And then the base, Aaron Gossage. That's a good-looking card with all that color. With the white, simple white. Did I do? All right, that was three packs. Yep, that is correct. Pack four. I see a Barsby. Classics. Will Shoestrick, 60 out of 100. Basket cases. Valerie Jenkins. So they call this a basket case. There's a black parallel, which is all black. I think it's 2022 in the top. Uh, this is just baskets upside down, right side up, upside down, right side up, all the way across the, the border. And this is a bookend Valerie Jenkins, 15 out of 15. Oh, there's a good auto. Timeless. Gannon Burr, 9 out of 50. Iconics, Chris Dickerson, and the base, Greg Barsby. You can see up here, 2022 in gray. It's very faint, but it is there. Pack four, and then pack five. Ooh, another super rare parallel. Wow, this is one of those parallel boxes. Hot, hot pack. Evelina Salonen in the Bayside Czech purple to blue kind of transition. Evelina Salonen, 7 out of 10. It's only the second one of those I got uh, of the checkerboard purple. Red parallel. Valerie Jenkins out of 75. Timeless. These are good looking autos. They look really nice. 30 out of 50. Jeremy Colling. We got a black parallel. Jessica Weiss. That's out of 25. And then a historics. Ed Hedrick. What's his history? 85 out of 100. Steady Ed Hedrick was the founder of the Professional Disc Golf Association and credited as the father of disc golf. That's pretty cool. Historical card. And we have the gold pack. I said I would open the first one. Oh, it says on, it even warns you. Congratulations. This gold pack contains one of Golden Era's most coveted cards. Inside is either a one of one or artifacts gold card. Open or hold question mark. The choice is yours. Wow. The choice is mine. Timeless. It looks like a Holly Finley one of one auto. Wow. Gold autograph with the frame. That's pretty cool. I think I have a sleeve here. Let me get that in one. That is not a card I want to see any damage. Pretty cool. I'm excited. I may not seem that excited, but open a lot of cards. That is a pretty cool one. So that was box seven. Um, 
set those to the side. We're going to stop that video. Thank you for watching the Disc Golf Experience YouTube channel. I know you're some of you are watching Facebook, but saving this on YouTube also. Um, and if you are interested in these, I do have some available on my website. Box complete boxes sealed where one in four boxes contains a gold pack, which would have a card like that. Uh, you know, they're not all autos, but they are all pretty rare, cool cards. Some really cool cards, too, coming, coming out of there. Um, you can buy the whole box, or you can buy individual packs. So the boxes are 150 for five packs. Uh, each pack has five cards, and each pack has an auto. Um, it's not a 100% guarantee, but it's pretty. it would be a pretty big mistake for them to not have an auto. Um, in fact, if they don't, you should probably reach out to Brexit. I think they'll take care of you because they're guaranteeing um, the odds are one in every box on average. So the packs are 30 bucks. Um, if I do open a box and to sell the packs, uh, and there is a gold pack in there. I'm not going to include that in the sale. I'm just going to sell the individual packs. Um, I may do something else with any gold pack that would come out of a box like that. I haven't decided. Um, I'm kind of going to wait and see. I'm going to save my gold packs for now and see see what comes of it. Um, so, again, thanks for watching that. Uh, and I'll do a few more boxes here on the live video. But that's it for the YouTube. Take care.